Welcome to Real Food. Today I'm going to talk about uh, this very special British um, specialty called the scones or the scones. Um, there are several ways of pronouncing them and there are even uh, more ways of eating them. And um, this has always been um, a, a huge debate. I mean, these buns, here, here they are, they look very simple, but as soon as you try um, um, eating them, it all becomes very complicated. And here we're going to discuss what what is going on with them. So I'm also going to test um, these um, these buns. This one is from m and and this one is from Fortnum & Mason. Um, I'm going to use clotted cream and um, rose petals jam from Fortnum & Mason. So I'm going to test these several ways of eating these um, buns. Um, and the two main um, uh, sort of contentious um, methods of eating them is to split them in half and then um, one group says cream should go first and then jam. The other one says jam should go first and then cream. Um, I'm not sure who is right and which method is better, but I can tell you what their thinking is behind all these things. Okay, and the thinking behind all of this is that um, in Cornwall, they split the bun in half and then they add um, jam first and then they put cream on top. And the reason why they say this is better is because uh, jam, being sweet and very powerful, it actually overpowers the cream. So you don't want jam to hit your mouth and your, your tongue first. On the other hand, in Devon, they say, no, 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 it should be cream first and then you add your jam. And their reasoning is because um, cream is, is a dairy product, like butter, and so butter should always go first on bread, right? That, that's what you do. Well, anyway, they potentially are both right. And until recently, I, um, I never had a chance to actually test them, like head to head. Which one is better, cream first or jam first? <laughs> and I couldn't figure out what tastes better. Um, but today I'm going to do it. So... Um, I will start perhaps with a smaller scone. Oh, look at this. Fortnum & Mason for you. Well, I have to say these are really nice. I went for tea in Fortnum & Mason and I really liked the scones or scones and um, they said I can buy them in the shop and I did. Um, it's a small one but it has fruit in it. Um, so, well, let's try m and mm, Look at this. m and splits without breaking. Um, okay, so I'm going to try... Um, which one shall I try first? Okay, well, I'm going to do cream first. Oh, look at this. With m &S. And um, and then you add your and then the jam goes. So this one is the the Devon version, and I have to say, you know, I kind of like this version because cream um, has good, you know, it 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 sits on the bun really nicely, um, and jam. You know, depending on which jam you're using, it can be quite slippery. So if you put jam first and then cream, so cream is, is going to start uh, moving around. Okay, well, so let's taste this. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Yeah, I really like it. I have to say, I do taste both jam and the cream, and cream. But this could also be because this rose petal jam is quite gentle, so it's not you know overpowering um the situation could be different if you have a really really flavorsome jam um very sweet jam it might make a difference okay well let's try this um version from Cornwall so jam goes first here we are, and I will try them and then Fortnum and Mason scone. And now I'm going to add 
cream. So you see this cream doesn't even it doesn't sit really well. You see I'm trying to to spread it but it actually everything starts moving and and kind of dripping. Well that's exactly what I meant by this. So so when you put cream first it it produces a really good binding. Okay, well never mind. Let's do the test. Mm. Yes. I do have a, a creamier taste in my mouth, that's for sure. But you know what, it's a lot more, there's a lot more mess. This cream started also to move and drip out of my mouth. So you see, there's advantage and a disadvantage in this method. So it's, it does feel creamier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you see, but the whole thing is a mess. Because your cream starts moving. It doesn't bind well to the bun. So. I'll probably stick with the cream first. On this occasion. Mmm. Yummy. Okay, before I demolish these, these delicious buns, there's another interesting piece of information I wanted to share. I don't know how true this is, but they say that Her Majesty the Queen apparently um, prefers to put jam first and then cream. I personally actually find it difficult to believe, but that's what I read, you know, I don't know how true this is. The reason why I find it difficult to believe is because jam first, cream later, um, makes it a much more, you know, it just creates more mess. Your cream starts to move and and um, the royal family and um, being all about protocol and, um, and you know, appearances, you would want a method that actually ensures relatively smooth transition of cream, jam, scone <laughs> into your mouth. So, you know, they say she does it uh, jam first, and then cream, but you know, there you go, you, you've got this information, but I personally am not 100% sure that that's true. So you probably need to, to do your own tests and give it a go. And also, um, I think having a slightly larger bun, like this one from m and is also um, very useful because a smaller bun, smaller scone, or scone, um, it's much more likely to break um, from what we've seen. And a larger one seems to separate um, nicer, easier, without breaking. So, so that's another advantage. And another thing to try is, instead of jam, you could try marmalade or honey. And this is something I actually wanted to try. So, for this remaining one, I'm going to use cream and honey. And I'll see what that tastes like. But before I do that, I'm going to demolish this one quickly. Okay, so, now I'm going to try to try it with um, honey. And I'm going to use my favorite method, which is cream first, because again, I don't want to create a huge mess. And cream, as you can see, um, provides a much, much more reliable binding to the scone. So once the cream is there, I know my honey will sit relatively, relatively easily. So, here's the honey. I'm using Manuka honey. Well, well I've, I've put a lot of cream in there, so I need to be fast. And Okay, let's see. Mmm. Yes, it's very good with honey and cream. Mm. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So here you are. You've got all these different options. 
I hope you learned something interesting in this video. Let me wish you bon appetit and we'll chat again soon.